Today we're going to learn how to transfer your files and pictures from your Android device to your PC, but stay to the end because there's a special secret that will help you to never have to do any of these steps ever again. Okay, today we're going to learn how to transfer photos and files from your Android smartphone to a Windows PC. I'm using Windows 11 right now, and this is on a uh, Samsung S22 Ultra. This works on all Android phones, however, but it's a little bit tricky. You would think you just plug it in and the um, files would just transfer over, but they don't. It's not quite that easy. So we're going to need a USB-C plug here. I'm going to plug that into the bottom of the phone. And we're going to plug the other end into the computer like you would expect. Very easy to do, typically. Uh, you wouldn't have any problems normally. But if you just go right over here to the folder, you'll see that it sees the phone, Shelly's S22 Ultra. But there's no folder here. Why? Well, because you have to go into your phone open it up and click on other USB options and click connected device. When you click connected device, you're going to see that it pops up down here. And if you open up your folder again, you'll find that Shelly's S22 Ultra now shows the internal storage. One of the things most people don't realize is that the photos on your phone, on an Android phone, are actually located in a folder called DCIM. You'll see that folder right here. The DCIM folder contains all your photos, and if you go into the camera folder, you'll see all of the photos that you have. At this point, your phone is being used simply like a flash drive. Uh, it's very easy to, um, uh, very easy to connect and it's not any kind of a problem to uh, be able to pull up a picture if you wanted to see a picture we'll say um, you just wanted to see this picture here there's a picture of a dog um, so you just are using it as a flash drive and you can drag and drop those files right on over to your computer now in the next video you're going to see a bonus tip of how you can make this happen without having to click all these buttons it's a secret trick that I've learned. You need to stay tuned.